Toronto Varsity Blues hosted the Waterloo Warriors at Goldring Center Sunday afternoon. The first set went back and forth with a couple of nice kills from Will Colucci and a great block from Nate Virgo and Alex Ferris giving Toronto a 12-10 lead. A nice kill from Stefan Ristic put Toronto up 16-14 at the technical timeout, but the Warriors retook the lead with the Jordan McConkie kill. Toronto fought back and a final block from Colucci sealed the win 28-26. Another seesaw battle in the second set, and Waterloo was up 16-12 at the technical timeout. Toronto rallied back though, and a Nate Virgo ace even the set up 16-16. The Warriors with some nice work at the net, and a final kill from Braden Koch, even the match for the Warriors, 25-21. The Warriors took control early in the third set, building a 5-1 lead and carrying a 16-7 advantage into the break. Despite a late rally from Toronto, a final kill from Koch sealed the win making it a 2-1 Waterloo lead. Toronto bounced back in the fourth and took an early lead compliment Zia Kareem. But the Warriors came back once again and led 16-13 at the technical timeout. Both teams continued to go back and forth, but another kill from McConkie secured the 3-1 match win for the Warriors. The Varsity Blues return to action this Friday, November 20th, as they host the Nipissing Lakers at Goldring Center. Game time is set for 8 p.m.